Hi everyone, happy new year. This is Nona with the AlignedLover.com. I know it's been a while since I posted a video, but I went to Japan on vacation and I noticed so many wonderful things about different fashions and styles there that I'll definitely do a video about. But for now, I will stick to your requests and finish off at least one round of series on each kitty body type. So today I will be covering the flamboyant gamine and we'll be looking at Lily Collins. So that is what we're going to do today. Uh, I know some people consider Lily Collins a soft gamine, but when I look at her face, it is much sharper than a soft gamine. And I look at her body and it's uh, a lot more angular. And um, when she does look very lean, she doesn't look frail. She has a good amount of sinewy muscle tone to her. So I, I really like a flamboyant gamine. She's much softer than, say, the other um, Lily. I'm forgetting her name, but she's a soft gamine for sure. She just has a lot more fragility and delicateness and curvature to her overall look. And Lily Collins is just a lot more angular and... She just looks so good in the flamboyant gamine style. So before we get into looking good, let's go into what doesn't look so good. So I'm gonna open up this window, make it a little bit bigger. In this picture, I can barely, barely recognize Lily Collins. I do not see Lily Collins, I see just somebody else. She looks very, very washed out here. So. As you know, flamboyant gamines look great in high contrast, usually darker fabrics and prints, and with more tailored form-fitting silhouettes. And this is almost the complete opposite. This is, first of all, very, very baggy on her. You don't see her body at all. She is lost in the sea of fabric. And yes, it has a little structure to it, but her small, straight body cannot hold it it cannot give enough structure for this outfit to really work <clears throat> also everything just looks too big on her this neckline just drags her down i don't see enough waist emphasis the arms are just too baggy this just needs so much more trimming and cutting and shaping to look good on her also then white gamines look great in color blocks, and this is just straight up one color white, so it looks a little boring on her. It looks a little bit plain. Um, as for her hair and makeup, um, there's just not enough pizzazz going on here. You know, this is like a very transparent watercolor type makeup, which would look better on someone more romantic looking. And it's, I, the same goes for the hair. It's slicked back. It's very soft. It needs a little bit of that edginess that looks so good on the flamboyant gamine. Here, Lily Collins looks beautiful. She's just a girl, um, but I just wanted to bring out this example because this is more of, I would say, a natural outfit. It's very flowy. There's not a lot of emphasis. It's very hippy-dippy, especially with it the boho bag and the butterfly prints. Um, there's a good amount of contrast here, especially with the very tailored black pants. And um, I can tell that the tank top inside is clean cut, but it just doesn't really bring out her, her beauty. And when you take into account your shoes, it just, it's like a mishmash of <laughs> um, dramatic, soft dramatic and natural and there's not really much of the flamboyant gamine vibe going here um, with her hair it's very disheveled very natural and um, her face is a little bit lost in this very monochromatic makeup she is a little something you know she looks a little bit washed out in a different way than the first picture yeah, we have something a little, a little more interesting. We have Lily in um, an outfit that does have quite a few flamboyant gamine 
aspects. We have this really nice tailoring, cute little details with the buttons on the skirt. Um, we have the illusion of a high neckline with this choker necklace. And we have this interesting um, addition of like some pizzazz, something out there with the ruffled shoulders, if you want to call it that. But I do think that the silhouette just isn't the best because it doesn't really show off her structure. The ruffles um, really create a lot of emphasis here where there's not enough support to really complete that idea. When you make your shoulder ruffles very big, you want to have an emphasis on your shoulders. So it's just extra drama here. But she is very straight, so it kind of gets lost there. Also, the skirt is tailored at the waist, but it's very long, and um, it just doesn't really lend to that cute tailored shape that works so well on the flamboyant gamine. Here, I want to take a look at her, her hair. Um, flamboyant gamines look really good with rich, saturated, deep colors, whether it be platinum blonde, fire, fighter red, or raven black. And here you have something that would look better on, I would say, a natural, someone who looks best with lower contrast looks. Um, she just gets a little bit lost in this hair color. It doesn't really bring out her her features, the beauty of her features lie in the contrast and the sharpness. And um, you don't really get the emphasis on that here. Also, this hairstyle is very natural, or maybe even, maybe romantic. It's just very flowy and unstructured and relaxed. And you just don't see her unique beauty. Again, Let's look at her hair here. Um, the color is much better. It's that nice, more saturated tone. Though, in my opinion, she looks better in an even darker hue, or it's just even more contrast. But this this hairstyle is not doing her any justice. It, it really kind of makes her lose her edge here. It's very symmetrical and straight in the front and flowy um, but in the back you can see that's been pulled back and i can see this looking really good on say monica bellucci um, who is a soft dramatic especially with a drapey um, top that she has on in that really luxurious fabric and that nice soft color but on lily here she just looks a bit old um, and dragged down. This really weighs her down. She has a very buoyant beauty and this, this look is a little too, too grounded and earthy. Now here is a, some, some would say it looks very flamboyant to me and that's why I wanna take a look at it further. Um, there are some really great elements here and I think she looks super cute, but I think she could look cuter if she changed some things. Um, this is very high contrast with the the like black background of the fabric, and you get the small floral details and those big ruffles. But in my opinion, it would have looked cuter if instead of long sleeves, she went for a higher neckline and made the the sleeves a bit more petite and you could really appreciate a stark contrast between the neck, the, the small chest area, the sharp shoulders, and the very thin arms, just in my opinion. Um, this hair, it's pretty cute, you know, it's, it's rich, it's, it's striking. I don't see any problem with the hair, um, and I can see why the makeup goes with the dress. Not my favorite look, but I think she looks cute still. Okay, two more looks and then we'll go into the good stuff. Um, here 
we have a very romantic look. I can see this on Marilyn Monroe, you know, and it just kind of falls flat on Lily because this is a very adult, mature look on her. It looks like she is trying a little too hard to look older and sophisticated and elegant and sultry, things that she's very capable of looking, but in a different way. So this is a little too rounded of a haircut. It's too tame and rounded and slicked back. There's no geometric, asymmetric edge to it. Um, the, the lip is throwing me off here. It's too rounded, you know? The, the emphasis on the length of the bottom lip just throws her face out of proportion. It's, it's just ruining the balance, especially with the um, the flick of the eyes. It's it's pulling her face in many different directions. Um, the flamboyant means their face looks better when you pull it towards the center more because they have a very streamlined look to their face. Um, when you have some of the more less features, yes, you want to elongate the eyes a bit more. And you want to make the lips look a little bit more sumptuous, but with an edgy, bright, flamboyant gamine, you wanna keep the clean, stark contrast. You don't want to add too much curvature to it. You wanna keep that beautiful, unique angularity. And um, to add to, to this look, um, just the, the, the neckline is just, it's too big, it's too old. This is a neckline for someone bigger, who's bigger bones, bigger structure. And last one, which actually we went over, so we can actually get to the good stuff. All right, so let's open this up and look at some really awesome looks for her. I absolutely love this look. I think she looks adorable here, and a lot of people can pull this off. She does it beautifully. We get the classic flamboyant mean silhouette, the high neckline, the very tailored waist, the very clean tailored hemline of the skirt, high contrast, especially with the legs. You get a very bright, bold, clean look. Um, you have this nice interesting intricate small detail it could be smaller but it's it's small enough to work um, on this dress clean cute small petite handbag and the hair is um you know it, it could be more flamboyant to me but i think it it works because it really helps to emphasize the dress you look at the dress more than anything else um her makeup is on point you get that nice contrast bold brows clean doe eyes and that nice dark rich lip okay i wanted to point out a bikini or a bathing suit look so you could really see her silhouette um though she's very slim and you can tell she has low body fat she doesn't look frail she doesn't look too delicate she looks like she has some you know some some mass to her like she doesn't look like she you could just like break her break her in half um that being said she is very tight she has a tomboyish angular figure and it works really well with this high contrast bikini with a small Sorry, swimsuit with a small ornate details. Um, and you get that really nice waist emphasis from that uh, effect that's happening at the waistline. It really is a lovely, lovely swimsuit on her. Here we have an amazing look that no one else but a flamboyant gamine could pull off in my opinion. Maybe, maybe, maybe a soft me, but I don't know. I think this is very, very flamboyant to me. Um, you got that color blocking, gorgeous, gorgeous color blocking, um, the high, higher neckline. It's not super high, but it's very emphasized neckline. 
and get that rich, full, lush hair, that high contrast makeup that looks so wonderful on her. Um, and these cute little buttons. And I don't know who else could pull off this look. You have to be petite to pull off this the shape. And you still need some kind of angularity and straightness because this look just would look very frumpy on someone with more curves who is a bit more round and soft, but looks amazing on, on, on Lily. I'm just, I'm amazed that it can look good on someone. Another flamboyant gamine look. Flamboyant gamines are amazing at color blocking and mixing patterns that you would think don't go together, but it just looks effortless on her and totally natural. Uh, you get this nice <clears throat> tailoring, which is further emphasized by the contrast of the colors. A gorgeous hemline on the skirt hits her perfectly. Nice tailoring, the, the arms are here. Um, the neckline isn't high, but it's emphasized. It's very clean, very clear. You have the small, interesting details on the top. Small, cute handbag. Um, nice, lush hair that isn't overly ornate or long. It's a clean look. What's not to love? Here is another look that I'm going to use. They just, they're just magic at this, this color blocking with the interesting little details. It looks great on her, just looks natural. This might not be the best cut for a flamboyant gamine, but the pattern is just so fitting for her. She doesn't get lost in it. You don't only really see the pattern, you see her when you see this pattern. That's why I wanted to bring this up. You can really see how well the flamboyant gamine can carry these very interesting mismatched um, fabrics and patterns and details. It's amazing. And um, I really like her hair here. It's, it's very sculpted. You have that symmetrical, rich look to it. Um, and the hair is nice and wavy without being too disheveled and without being to weight down. It's, it's a nice balance. Here I wanted to point out another case of beautiful color blocking. This is color blocks look great on the flamboyant skinning. Um, I think here her hair is a little too classic. It's a little too prep school pretty on her. She looks better with something a little more edgy but I do love the color blocking of the blouse. Here, I just, <laughs> I just love the beauty of the flame blank. I mean, they can pull off some very strange looks. Um, and she does it again here. I don't know, they're just the, I would say, avant-garde body types. You can really pull interesting things off. Again here, um, another case of interesting color blocking and little detail details being pulled off. Her hair isn't the best here. It's a little bit too swooped. Um, I could see that kind of hair looking better on like a soft classic or soft green, but she needs some a little more edge. It also looks better, a little darker, but um, the prints here are great. The silhouette is pretty good, though I would have chosen a, a higher, more emphasized neckline. It gets kind of lost here, especially with her skin color. Um, and the sleeves might be a little bit too short. Her shoulders start um, at, a, at a different point. So that's why you get kind of this like constricted look on her arms, which is a good point. It doesn't matter what size you are. Your arms can look constricted if you have the wrong proportions, not because your arm is too fat, it is the size of the blast, it just looks wrong on your arm. So find the right, the right fit, because anyone's arm can look sausaged in. Here, um, I wanted to point out a nice sultry look on the seven point gamine. They, they do a really wonderful job of doing this kind of like dark 
witchy fairy look. And here it is. She has the, the neckline, of course. And you get a sense of contrast, even though the dress is very close to her skin color, thanks to her hair and the makeup. And the really wonderful, ornate, small details all throughout the fabric of the dress. And of course, it has that nice tight fit as well as the cropping of the waist. And you get this nice emphasis throughout just from the, the lace details. Here, what a cute look on some blank mean. I think that blank means look great in, in matching sets really cute, especially when the details are on the smaller side here, like medium to smaller side. They don't have to be too small because flame white means can pull off a larger look. So this looks great on her. High contrast from black and white. Nice shoulders aren't overpowering on her. They're just the right size. Cute color blocking with the little hat and the, you know, the makeup, bold brows fine lips, clean skin, cute small bag. That's what I love about Louise. She always has the best bag, bag choice for her. It's nice, um, geometric, cute, small, petite contained. So that is what I have today for the Fan Boy Gameen Lily Collins edition. Um, please let me know if you have any questions or any requests for further videos or if you agree or disagree with um, my thoughts on this. You know, I'm still learning about this, so I don't take it personally. I really like to be able to have a dialogue and um, it's a small community that will hopefully grow. Um, but yeah, just feel free to reach out. Um, eventually I will convert these into corresponding blog posts so you'll have an even better idea of the certain style and the execution. I guess some final words. Van Boinkameen looks great in a clean, contained, ro not robust, clean, contained, structured in a petite way, um, bright, clean, bold, edgy it's it's just uh it's just something else you know it's not super flowy it's sharp i'm just rambling at this point sorry it's just i love thinking about this stuff um nice nice silhouettes clean crisp i guess that's what i would call the sort of like i mean petite bold and crisp so I will talk to y'all later. Thanks for watching. Have a great new year. Bye.